Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited about today's video because I got this package in the mail last night and I have not been this excited for a collection, like a regular makeup collection in, I don't even know how long, but we have the new Huda Pretty Grunge collection. When I saw this collection, I like was speechless. It is so pretty. I'll put like the video I, I uh, like filmed last night with my phone because I feel like my phone captures this like collection so much better than like when I was trying to do it on my camera this is so pretty like I have been really loving cool tones lately and you guys know I love those grungy tones so this was like so me just honestly I have not really been feeling too well lately I kind of talked a little bit about it on like Instagram it just mentally has been really rough for me lately so this like was the first thing that got me like excited to sit down in front of the camera recently so I apologize for like the lack of videos this month but that's kind of like what's been going on I'll go deeper into it like in another video but um so I wanted to do more of kind of like a get ready with me kind of video using the collection I'm actually going to a Blink-182 album signing right now and Blink is my favorite band of all time so I'm so excited so I wanted to get ready for that I'm actually running late so I need to like hurry up but um Anyways, in the collection, let me just go through it really quick. We have the Pretty Grunge palette, and this is absolutely stunning. I'll put, like, close-ups on the screen, but this is, like, the prettiest palette I've seen in, like, a minute. And the packaging is gorgeous. They also have this uh, blush gloss called Pretty Grunge, and it's, like, a very interesting texture. It's, like, a glossy balm feeling, but it kind of adjusts to your pH level. And it's a really, like, again, this packaging on everything is gorgeous. They also came out, I don't know if this is new, I'm pretty sure it is, I don't remember it, but they came out with a black lip liner um, in their lip contour formula, which is so good. I love their lip liners so much. And so I'm really excited about that. And then they also launched this grunge lip duo with a liquid matte um, liquid lipstick and one of their Silk Balm um, plumping lip balms, which I did not know they were plumping a little while ago but I found out when I tried it on um but they're both black so we have a just plain black liquid lipstick in the shade ex-wife and then a black like very sheer black plumping gloss and this is called Gr uh, goth gloss which I think is so cute so um yeah that's pretty much everything in the collection it's like a smaller collection but I think this is so good we'll see in the video I think this might be one of my favorite collections of the year the year's not over yet but it's it's getting there and this is up there for me for sure put all the information and everything down below for you guys so the look that I came up with today using the collection so if you guys want to see how I got this look right here and to hear some thoughts about this collection then just keep watching okay let's go ahead and start off with the eyes um I kind of already have a look in mind that I want to do with the palette um um, I kind of want to do like a winged out halo eye, like a really cool tone, silvery halo eye. I don't put the palette too much in frame because it's so reflective, um, but I'm going to use the shade Brave. It's this one right here. It's kind of like a mauve tone. I'm going to use that as my transition shade. I'm going to take a big fluffy brush and just kind of put this in my crease. I'm just going to like lightly dust this into the crease really light layer of that. Uh, I'm actually going to go into Liberty, kind of cancel out that tone. It's this shade right here. I'm just going to kind of make that a little bit more neutral. So I'm just going to put that in the crease. A good like neutral transition shade. Uh, okay, I'm actually just going to go right into it. I'm going to go into Fearless. It is this shade right here. It's like a really pretty purpley plummy color and I'm gonna put this in my crease as well and a little bit on the outer corner and the inner corner I'm just putting that in directly in my crease at first and then I'll kind of build it up on the inner and outer corner to create that halo eye adds like a lot of depth to the eye too so I really like that and I do want this to be kind of like a winged out halo eye so I'm taking some of that towards this outer part of my eye. I will take a little bit of that on the inner and outer corner to kind of start that halo eye. Fearless shade is so pretty. It adds a lot of depth without having to like go into a lot of different colors. Um, just this one color alone has done like a lot for the eye look already so I really like this shade. I have that perfect purpley, like almost bruise tone <laughs> eyeshadow that is like perfect for grungy looks. So I love 
the shade a lot. Okay, I am gonna go ahead and deepen this up. I'm gonna go in with Nirvana. It's like a cool tone purple. And let's see how that looks on, I'm just gonna add that to the inner and outer corner as well. And all the shadows have been blending out really nicely too, so that's really good. Surprisingly, I haven't really had any fallout either, so I really like that, especially since these shades are a little bit darker. I'll go back with the brush that I was using with Fearless to just kind of blend everything together. I do like those winged out halo eyes. I really like to focus the shadows kind of like at an angle, so like this inner part, I'll go at an angle and same for the outer part. And then once we do like that center shade, I'll kind of also angle that. I feel like it just works best on my eye shape. It really just like depends on everyone's eye shape, you know. Went to Renegade. I'm going to put that again on the inner and outer corner. Just adding some more depth and just layering. And that's going to give us just like that perfect kind of halo eye. Um, and Huda's blacks are always really black. So I'm going really lightly. <laughs> that's a good black eyeshadow. I'm literally just taking like the tiniest amount because <laughs> I don't want it to be super, super black. Once we have that down, I think I like how that's looking. We're going to go into the lid shade that's going to be like right in the center. And honestly, the shimmers in here are gorgeous. I decide between Maverick or Rebel, Rebel. Um, you guys, look at, they're just like so fucking pretty. They're so, so good. Like I... Huda really does like shimmers really well. This color is really speaking to me, but like Maverick is so good. Like it's a really perfect like silvery color, but Rebel or Rebel, I don't know how to say it. It's like Rebel. I'm gonna say Rebel. Rebel. Um, it has kind of like a pinky shift to it, and I think it kind of goes well with that like mauvey tone that's in there. So I think I'm gonna go in with Rebel. Rebel whatever it is. Um, it's so pretty. So I'm going to take that. This one has like a lot of chunky glitter in it too, which I think will look really pretty on the center. So let's do that. That is the shade right here. All of the shimmers in here are freaking stunning. Um, okay, let's see. Oh my god. That is so pretty. Wow. Oh my god. It's like when I have my eye open, it's so vibrant and shimmery and intense and I'm just putting this all on my finger oh wow that is so pretty that like exceeded my expectations by like a thousand and I'm just putting that up into like the crease Oh my god, that is so pretty. I'm gonna go back with the brush that I was using with Nirvana not um, the black one, not not the brush I was using with the black shadow. I'm just gonna use this to kind of blend the edges so everything is nice and seamless and there's no harsh lines. I couldn't even imagine making a more beautiful eyeshadow. That is so pretty. And I'm keeping like all the shadows at like an angle. Um, again, that just works best for like my eye shape. Um, so I just kind of take that at like an angle. Oh my god, that is so pretty. Go back with the brush that I was using Renegade with. That's the black one. I'm not putting any additional product. I'm just kind of going with it with whatever was left on the brush. Oh, gorgeous. Oh, wow. What a beautiful eyeshadow. Like this is insane. This is so pretty. Let's do one more time. Look at that. Look at that. So good. I'm going back and forth, just blending, making sure everything looks nice and seamless. I'm going to do my foundation stuff really quick, and then I'll come back, and then we'll do, like, the lower lash line and all that good stuff. So let me do that really quick. Before I do my foundation and stuff, I just cleaned up the edges with the makeup wipe, and look at how it looks. This is, like, ultimate snatched. I'm obsessed. Okay, let me do my foundation, BRB. I did my foundation, concealer, and bronzer really quick. There is also this pretty grunge blush gloss in the collection. Um, it's a very interesting texture. It very much feels like a balmy kind of consistency. Um, so I'm going to try a little bit of it and see how it looks on the skin. I don't know how it's going to look. I'm taking a synthetic brush. 
it kind of, okay, ooh, actually it's really pretty. It's a little bit more pink than I would like, um, but this is like a pH kind of blush, so I kind of adjust to your skin. Oh, it actually looks, it looks really pretty. It's like a really pretty pink. It actually doesn't feel like too, I thought it was gonna feel like sticky or something, um, but it goes on really nicely. It didn't like pick up my foundation or anything on um, from underneath either. Okay, cute, yeah. It looks very interesting in the packaging. Like it looks very odd, but so I was a little scared. But it actually looks really pretty. So I'm baking right now, and I really like how that blush looks. It actually goes really well with the collection, even though it's kind of like a pH, kind of adjust to your skin kind of blush. I think it actually works with this eye look. So um, we're going to go into eyeliner. They did send one of their um, Creamy Coal eyeliners in the collection. I have my own, my other one. I don't want to open a new one yet. This is actually the eyeliner I always use, like black eyeliner, because it's so creamy and black, like... It's really, really good. So I'm going to put this in my waterline. That's such a good black eyeliner. I forgot I wanted to use, like, the cream shadow in the palette um, for, like, the top. So I might go in with that afterwards. But let me do the lower lash line. So let's go in with Nirvana, the one that we use, the, like, cool tone purple. Let's use that right at the lash line. So pretty. I'm just kind of like really merging that and marrying that with the liner in the waterline. And then I think I'm going to go in with, let's do Fearless, the one that we were using earlier. This one. And just kind of some, like, I'm going to use that shade to kind of just blow the shade out and make it really smoky. Ooh, I love this eye look. Is It's so good it's giving slay it's giving snatched it's giving sultry giving grungy I use like the cream shadow in here this one's called grunge i love that they have like a little cream shadow i'm gonna use this to kind of line my top wow that's a really black black <laughs> i was like not expecting it to be that black um let me i need to like look up closer in a mirror I'm just using this to kind of line my lash line up here. Wow, I'm honestly shocked. That's like a really, really good black. Very creamy and very, very black. So obsessed with this eye look. Um, okay, I am running late. I need to leave in like 20 minutes. So let me finish up the rest of my makeup. I'm going to put on some mascara. I'm just using the Huda one coat wow mascara this is the mascara i've been using constantly for like the last couple months it's really really good um and then we'll finish off with the lip so let me do this and hurry up we're just about done i didn't use maverick on the lid i'm gonna put it in my inner corner this color is so beautiful beautiful this whole palette is stunning i'm not gonna jump the gun yet because obviously the year is still not over but i think this might be one of the best palettes of the year i'm just saying it's absolutely stunning it's so pretty it performs well i know i haven't gotten to like the review part yet but um i'm also adding like a little bit more blush but i really love this palette but let's finish off the look with the lips like i said there is a black lip liner in here um this one's just called nocturnal and then there is the grunge lip duo it has the matte black lip, liquid lipstick but i really want to try the black silk balm gloss um because i really like that look of like a black lip liner with a black gloss so going in with the nocturnal lip contour lip liner is really really good it's really black and kind of going in on the corners okay and like I said it's kind of letting in so when you go in with the gloss it's super blended the lip liner so good so let's go in this is called goth gloss which I think is so cute um, and this is like a silk balm so it's like super sheer Oh, hold on. Ooh, it smells good. Oh. They ate. This is so good. 
is so pretty. I think this is so good. I do notice that this gloss is plumping, which I can't use plumpers, and I just realized that. Um, so I'm going to take this off as fast as possible, but it if you can use lip plumpers, this lip combo right here is everything. I think this is so good. Um, I'm going to take this off really quick. BRB. <laughs> Guys, we're all good. I did not realize that the Silk Balm was a lip plumper. Um, yeah, I can't use lip plumpers like at all. So I think I got it off enough of time. That one's actually kind of severe. Like I'm not going to lie. I feel like my lips are still tingling a lot and I took it off. But anyways... We avoided that, hopefully. Um, I'm going to go in with ColourPop's Cool BFF Lip Liner. And then Orpha's VHS Dose of Colors Lipstick. I've been putting this on in like every video, but it's just that good. In a little bit with Orpha's The Matching Lip Liner. Um, this one's like a little bit more brown, but I might do it like on the edges. Just kind of blend it in. Just for some more like dimension. Okay, kind of like that. Okay, yeah, perfect. Just kind of move that around, blend it, but. All right, so this is the finished look. I am literally obsessed. I think this might be one of my favorite looks I've done all year, but I'm really leaning towards, I think this might be like one of my favorite palettes of the year. Um, I think it's absolutely stunning. It's so pretty. I could do like a million different looks with it. I love that there's like a cream liner in there. Like it's a super versatile palette. I feel like I kind of want to get another one like for my kit because I get a lot of clients that have like that really like cool tones or like those smoky tones and stuff. It is so pretty. That shade that I have on on my lid, um, Rebel, is gorge like i could not think of a prettier eyeshadow than that it is so pretty that maverick shade on the inner corner is also stunning like it is so good so beautiful and the whole collection is really good i'm also very surprised that i liked this blush gloss thing it looks really pretty it doesn't feel sticky on like the skin either like it really does kind of mesh with the skin it doesn't feel like I have anything on um and then yeah I really like the lip liner I love a good black lip liner and Huda's lip liners are really good like they stay on they don't budge and if I could I would use that silk balm I think it's so pretty but it was just a little bit too much for me when it comes to lip plumper I mean I can't use lip plumpers anyway sometimes I can get around it um like the lawless ones I can do because they're not like super tingly but unfortunately this one was like a little bit too strong for me to even like try to use it. Um, but if you are fine with lip plumpers, by all means get it because it's so pretty. It, it feels so nice on the lips too. I'm sad that I can't use it. But um, yeah, anyways, I love this look, love the palette, love this collection. This is definitely a hit for me. I think they absolutely killed it with this collection. It's so pretty. I love the packaging, everything. It's so good. So um, yeah, I love this look, but... Anyways, like I said, I just wanted to kind of do like more chill, get ready with me using this collection kind of video, and I feel like I felt excited to film again today, so I could do so many different looks with this. I'm so excited to keep playing around with it. Um, but yeah, I'll link everything that I can down below for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.